Okie dokie, guys. <laughs> All right, I need everyone to turn to page 167. Page 167. You're going to be looking at the verbs am, is, are. And we're going to be using am, is, and are to complete page 168. So turn to page 168. At the very top, I want you to write the words am, am, is, is, and are, a-r-e. Am, is, and are. Okay. We're going to be using am, is, and are to fill in the blanks for sentences one through nine. So number one says, Kelly and Sam blank below the window. Kelly and Sam am below the window. Kelly and Sam is below the window. Kelly and Sam are below the window. Our correct answer is are. Kelly and Sam are below the window. So you're going to write are on the line. A-R-E. <clears throat> A-R-E. Number two, Jess, Dan, and I am behind the curtains. Jess, Dan, and I is behind the curtains. Jess, Dan, and I are behind the curtains. Because Jess, Dan, and I are multiple people, our answer is going to be are again. Are, A-R-E. Let's take a look at number three. We blank at the mall. We am at the mall. We is at the mall. We are at the mall. Again, because we're talking about more than one person being we, our answer is are. We are at the mall. So number one was are, number two is are, and number three is are. For numbers four through nine, I'm going to read you the sentence. <clears throat> and you are going to decide which word to fill in the blank, but I'm not going to tell you if you're right or wrong. Not yet. Number four, they blank on the mat. They am on the mat. They is on the mat. They are on the mat. And write in your answer. <clears throat> Number five, the dog blank under the table. The dog am under the table. The dog is under the table or the dog are under the table. Number six, she blank at the beach. She am at the beach. She is at the beach. She are at the beach. Number seven, you blank in my chair. You am in my chair. You is in my chair. You are in my chair. Number eight, I blank on my way. I am on my way. I is on my way. I are on my way. Number nine, Sam blank at the bank. Sam am at the bank. Sam is at the bank. Sam are at the bank. Okay, let's go back and look at number four. Number four should say, they are on the mat. Put a star by it if you got it correct. Are by the mat. If not, make sure you correct it. Number five, the dog is under the table is number six she is at the beach is number six is is put a star by it if it's correct if it's incorrect fix it you blank in my chair you are in my chair are you are in my chair i blank on my way i am on my way am I am on my way. Number nine, Sam blank at the bank. Sam is at the bank. Is. Sam is at the bank. <clears throat> you should have one through nine all corrected. Okay, as you guys can see, there's a second line on one through nine. On that second line, we need to decide if the subject is singular or plural. So let's take a look at number one. Kelly and Sam are below the window. We have to ask ourselves, who or what did it? Who or what did it? Kelly and Sam. So I'm going to underline Kelly and Sam. Underline Kelly and Sam. And then ask myself, is Kelly and Sam singular? Singular means there's only one person. Or Kelly and Sam plural, which means there's more than one person. 
Kelly, Sam. That's two people. Two people means more than one, which makes it plural. You're going to write plural on the second line. That second line, plural. <clears throat> Justin and I are behind the curtain. Who or what did it? Well, our subject is Jess, Dan, and I. So I'm going to underline Jess, Dan, and I. Jess, Dan, and I. That's three people. Because it's more than one, it is going to be a plural subject. So again, you are going to write plural on the line. Plural. <clears throat> Number three, we are at the mall. We. If I'm talking about we, we is only one word, but we could mean Miss Keitlinger, myself, and you guys. We are at the mall. We could also be our class. We, our class is at the mall. So if we is more than one person, we is also, you got it, plural. We is plural. Number four, they are on the mat. They are on the mat. Who is on the mat? They. They is our subject. They. So we're going to underline they. They also means more than one person. They. Hey. They. Hmm. They are going to the bathroom. Who's they? Lorelai and Casey. Okay. They. More than one person. Because they is more than one person, it is plural. For five through nine, I'm going to help you identify the subjects, but I want you guys to decide if the subjects are singular or plural. <clears throat> Number five, the dog is under the table. Who or what is under the table? The dog. The dog is our subject. Is the dog singular or plural? And write it on the line. Number six, <clears throat> she is at the beach. Who is at the beach? She is. She is our subject because it's who or what did it. She should be underlined. Is she singular or plural? And write it on the line. <clears throat> Number seven, you are in my chair. Who is in my chair? You are in my chair. You is our subject underline you, and then we have to decide if you is singular or plural. You. Okay. Number eight, I am on my way. Who or what is the sentence about? I. I is our subject. I am on my way. Is I singular or plural? And write it on the line. Number nine, Sam is at the bank. Who or what is at the bank? Sam. So Sam is our subject. Underline Sam. And then we have to decide, is Sam singular or plural? All right, so you should have completed five through nine on your own. And if you have singular for all of them, you are correct. Are we having fun yet? <laughs> are we having fun yet, Miss Kylinger? <laughs> all right, let's look at part B. Change the underlined verb in each sentence to present progressive. All that means is that we are going to be adding that helping verb and ing. Let's look at the examples first. It says, I grill fish. We are going to change it to, I am grilling fish. We added our helping verb am and then added ing to our verb grill. The second example, the men lift the table. Lift is our verb, so we're going to add ing to lift, making it lifting. The men lifting the table. The men am lifting the table. The men is lifting the table. Or the men are lifting the table. As you can see, our correct answer is are. Number one, follow along. Make sure you're filling it in. The cops block traffic. Our verb is block, so I'm going to write block on my line. And then what are we going to add to the ending? I-N-G. So our new verb is blocking. The cops am blocking traffic, the cops is blocking traffic, or the cops are blocking traffic. Are blocking traffic. So on the line, you should have are blocking. 
Number two, I kick rocks off of the dock. Kick is our underlined verb. So we're going to write kick, and then we're going to add our progressive tense, which is ing, making our new verb kicking. I kicking rocks off the deck. Dock, I'm sorry. So now we have to add our helping verb. I am kicking rocks. I is kicking rocks. I are kicking rocks. Our correct helping verb is am. I am kicking rocks. <clears throat> On the line, you should have am kicking. Number three, Scott rocks to the jazz. What's our underlined word? Rocks. So rocks is going to become rocking. R-O-C-K-I-N-G. Because progressive tense means we're adding the I-N-G. So Scott am rocking to jazz. Scott is rocking to jazz. Scott are rocking to jazz. Our correct verb is Scott is rocking to jazz. Lawn band plants yams. Our verb is plants. We're going to change plants to planting. We want to add an ing to our verb plant, planting. Now we want to pick our helping verb. Lawn band am planting. Lawn band is planting. Lawn ban are planting. Lawn ban is actually one name. So it's lawn ban is planting. <clears throat> and let's look at our last one. The dog sniffs the trash. Sniffs is our underlying verb. So we're going to make sniff, sniffing, adding our I and G. And then we have to decide which helping verb we want. The dog am sniffing the trash, the dog is sniffing the trash, or the dog are sniffing the trash. The dog is sniffing the trash. If I went too fast, you can always stop this video, rewind it, and watch it again to get the answers. But this page must be completed. Must be completed. All right, let's take a look at page 169. <clears throat> 169. On page 169, we are going to be looking at past, present, and future. Actually, we're just looking at past and present. Even better. We could X out that future box if you want. We are going to be reading each of the words that are in the box above and deciding, is that word a past tense word or a present tense? As a review, make sure you remember that past tense means it already happened. And think to yourself, past tense typically ends in what suffix? E-D. Present tense means it's happening right now. Present tense typically ends in S, E-S, or I-N-G. Let's just jump right in and look at our very first word. Our first word is jump. Jump. Miss Keitlinger, go jump in the river. Jump. Jump doesn't end in ED. It doesn't end in S, ES, or ING. So we really have to think about jump. Jump. Past or present. Jump is a present tense. Whoop. Someone messed with me. Present tense verb. So we're going to write jump under present tense. So here we are, here's our chart, past, present, and I wrote jump under present. Then I want you to cross it off because we already did it. <clears throat> the second word is is filling, is filling. She is filling the cupcake with icing. All right, is filling. Is is filling past or present? Let's look at the ing. And then the is. That gives us the hint that is filling is present. Is filling. Is filling is present tense. Our next word is batted. He batted the ball last at the game. Batted ends in ed. ED signifies that the verb is what tense? Past tense. Very good. Batted. We're going to write batted under past tense. 
The next word is blocked. Blocked. He blocked the player in the football game. Blocked. Blocked ends in ed too. Ed signifies that the pat. I'm sorry that it is a past tense verb. So I'm gonna write blocked under past tense, and then I'm gonna cross it off. Blocked. Blocked. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not going to give you the answers for the following. I want you guys to try to figure out if they're past or present. I will tell you what the word is. So the next word is jumped. Jumped. Jumped ends in E-D. Jumped. Write it in the correct box. Give you a few seconds. The next word is, is jumping, is jumping, is jumping, has the helping verb is, ends in ing, is jumping, past or present. Your next word is fills, fills, fills. Fills ends in an S. Is it past tense or present tense? Fills. Your next word is bats. Bats. B-A-T-S. Bats ends in an S. Do past tense or present tense verbs end in an S? Bats. Okay, your next word is blocks. 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 Blocks also ends in an S. So which tense verb ends in an S? Blocks. Is batting. Is batting. Is batting. Is is our helping verb. Batting ends in ing. Is is batting present tense or past tense? And write it in the correct box. Our next word is filled. Filled. I filled the Easter eggs with candy. Filled ends in ed. Which verb tense ends in ed, past tense, or present? And write it in the box. And our last word is are blocking. Are blocking. Are blocking has a helping verb, are, and it ends in ing. Are blocking. Are blocking, past or present. Okay, I'll give you a second to make sure that you have all those down before I go over them. All those down. All right, let's take a look to make sure that they're correct. Under past tense, you should have four answers. You should have batted, blocked, jumped, and filled. Again, four answers. Batted, blocked, jumped, and filled. Four under past tense. Please make corrections if you don't have it. Under present, you should have eight answers. Eight answers. You should have jump. Is filling, is jumping, fills, bats, blocks, is batting, and are blocking. Eight answers in present tense. Please make sure that you have all eight. Eight answers, present tense. Okay? Once you have those written down, 
you may turn the page. If you need more time, make sure you pause me, okay? All right, guys, if you're on page 170, you are going to cross off page 170. Cross off page 170. And I know that you like to do page 171, but right now um, I'm not able to do that to you. So let's circle it, star it, do something to it so that we know that I have to go back to it. I want you guys to turn to 172, page 172. <clears throat> page 172 has the root word or the base word cycle in the middle. Cycle. The word is cycle. They want you to use the root word or the base word cycle and create new words by adding prefixes and suffixes to cycle. For this activity, I'm going to allow you to use your Chromebook. You may Google words that have cycle in it. The first word that pops up into my head is going to be bicycle. So on the line, let's all write down my word, bicycle, B-I-C-Y-C-L-E, bicycle. It has the root word cycle in it, and I added the prefix by, by meaning two. So a bicycle has two wheels. Another one that comes to my head is unicycle. So I'm going to write unicycle on the line. Unicycle. You guys write this too. U-N-I-C-Y-C-L-E. Unicycle. Again, we have our root word cycle and we added uni to it. Uni meaning one. A bicycle, I'm sorry, a unicycle has one wheel. I want you to use Google to come up with three more words that use cycle. Put three in big numbers at the very bottom if you can't remember. I want three more words, any three words that you can pronounce. Three words added to this list, not including Mayan. So these don't count. Three of your own words. Use Google words that have cycle in them. <clears throat> Pause me right here so that you guys can have a chance to look into Google to find three, 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 three words that have cycle in it. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. You found your three words with cycle in it and now we're gonna move to page 173. 173 is dealing with adjectives. So take a look at the very top because I'm going to read adjectives, describe nouns. What do adjectives do? Adjectives describe nouns. They answer how many, what kind, and which one. So when we turn to page 174, we are going to be reading the sentences in 174, identifying the adjective, and then asking ourselves, does that adjective answer which one, how many, or what kind? Let's look at number one. The hot wax is dripping on the mat. The hot wax is dripping on the mat. Hot is our underlined adjective. Hot is describing the wax. Does hot tell us which wax, how many waxes, or what kind of wax? Hmm. I think hot is telling us what kind. What kind of wax is it? Hot wax. So I'm going to write hot under what kind? Hot. Hot. Number two, the brisk air was polluted. Brisk is our underlined adjective. The brisk air was polluted. Brisk is describing air. Is it telling us which air was polluted, how many airs were polluted, or what kind of air was polluted? The brisk air was polluted. Hmm, which air? Brisk air. So I'm going to write brisk under which one? Brisk, which 
one. Number three, that bobcat hid in the cabin. That one, that one over there. Which one? That one. That tells us which one. So that is going to be written under which one. That, which one. The cab with the flat stopped traffic. They're talking about a flat tire. So the cab with the flat tire stopped traffic. Hold on, guys. The light showed off. Do you mind? <laughs> there we go. All right. The cab with the flat stopped traffic. With the flat is describing the cab. So which cab had a flat? How many cabs had a flat? Or what kind of cab had a flat? Hmm. Well, if we were stuck in traffic, I would say, which cab was it? A cab with a flat. So with the flat tells which one. So we're gonna write with the flat. With the flat under which one. <clears throat> Six frogs were in the lab. Six is describing frogs. Is six telling us which frogs, how many frogs, or what kind of frogs? Six. Six is a number. So six is telling us how many. Six. Number six. The crabs were digging in the damp sand. The crabs were digging in the damp sand. Damp is describing sand. Is it telling us which sand they were digging in, how many sands they were digging in, or what kind of sand they were digging in? Damp is telling us what kind of sand it was. What kind of sand was it? Damp sand. Damp means wet. So you're going to write damp under what kind? Damp. Number seven, many toxins pollute the air. Many is describing toxins. Does many tell us which toxins? Remember, toxins are pollutants, garbage, trash, toxins, many toxins. Does many tell us which one, how many toxins, or what kind of toxins? Many is equivalent to a number. So a lot, a little, many, much, Many means how many. How many toxins pollute the air? Many toxins. So many is going to go under how many. Number eight, gas mist from vans and cabs clog the environment. From vans and cabs is describing the gas mist. Is it telling us which gas mist? How many gas mists or what kind of gas mist? Well, it's not telling us what kind it is. It's not telling us if it's bad or good or harmful or helpful. It's not telling us how many because we don't have a number. It's telling us which one. Gas mist clogs the environment. Which gas mist? The ones from the vans and the cabs. So from vans and cabs is going to go under which one? <coughs> Two more. The colorful quilt was a gift for her. Colorful is our adjective and it's describing our quilt. Our noun is quilt. Colorful quilt. Does that tell us which quilt was made for her? How many quilts were made for her? Or what kind of quilt was made for her? Oh my gosh, she made me a quilt? What kind of quilt did you make me? I made you a colorful quilt. Colorful goes under what kind? Colorful. Last one, the toxic plant made them sick. Toxic is our adjective. Toxic is describing plant. Toxic plant. Hmm, does that tell us which plant made them sick? How many plants made them sick? Or what kind of plant made them sick? Hmm, that plant over there made me sick. Which plant? That plant. Toxic is telling us which plant made me sick. 
toxic goes under which one? If I went too fast, rewind and rewatch. Huh. So that was 30 minutes, guys. That was 30 minutes and a whole lot of work for you all. All righty. So at this point, you can stop this video. I hope that you completed all your work because I'm going to check it tomorrow. And you can work on language live, please. If you have any questions, please make sure that you ask the sub. And I missed you today. Bye.